Hello everyone, this is Jordan with Iceline Hosting, and today's tutorial will be going over how to create a Steam Workshop collection for your Gary's Mod server. So you may want to create a Steam Workshop collection for your Gary's Mod server because it is the fastest and most efficient way to add add-ons into your server. All you have to do is find an add-on that you like in the Steam Workshop, add it to your collection, and restart the server and it will be ready to go. So the first step in creating this collection is simply opening up your Steam client, go to Gary's Mod, and go to the Workshop. Once in the workshop, I'm going to hover over Browse, go down to Collections, and then I'm going to click on Create Collection. When I'm in here, I'm going to give my collection a title. I'm just going to call this collection Tutorial. I'm going to choose my file, and then I'm going to go down to the Category. For a category, you're going to select Server Content. I'm then going to click on Save and Continue, and now I'm going to be prompted with a selection of my items. So if you go to your subscribed items, I'm just going to select the Death Run Minecraft Run. All I'm going to do is click on it, then I'm going to click Save and Continue. So now, once I'm here, I'm going to click on Publish. And now I'm ready to go. Now my collection is public and ready to go for my server. So now, to actually add this and link it to your Gary's Mod server, you're simply going to want to log into your Iceline game hosting panel. Then you're going to go to Configuration and Startup Parameters. So we're in here, you're going to see Workshop ID. Now you're going to see that this is just the numbers at the end of the URL. So I'm simply going to go here. I'm then going to copy the link to this workshop by simply just right clicking and copy page URL. And now I'm going to return back to my panel and I'm going to paste in the URL here. And then I'm going to delete everything that is before this equal sign, including the equal sign. So I simply just have the numbers at the end of the URL, just like this. Now I'm going to update my startup parameters, and I'm going to now go to my console and restart the server. Okay, now that my server is restarted, if we just scroll up a bit here, you can actually see that it is processing one add-on, the Minecraft death run that we subscribe to in the collection. This will go for everything you subscribe to in the collection and automatically add it into your server. That is all it takes to create a collection. I hope this was educational. Thank you.